I'm on Floss TV Africa where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin and I'm here with Ewa Uritu. Hmm. Hello. Great, great, where great. Where is your It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, Nicki Minaj marries Kenneth Petty and I think that's quite interesting and um, I'm happy for her because I can see how excited she is about um, the whole relationship mm. and the I mean, I'm happy because she's happy. She's 35, he's 41, mm -hmm. and I like how she's been able to stand by her man regardless of um, them digging Good up to, his mm. past and all that. And I, I, I wish them the best, really. That's all I can say. Mm, I'm, I'm very happy for her. I mean, it's long due. Mm -hmm. she's, she, wants, she should get married, you know, mm -hmm. and she has been through a lot, so I feel like she deserves this happiness. Mm -hmm. If she's saying she's happy, almost in all her interviews, mm -hmm. she's always talking about being so happy with him. And yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter what his past is, as mm -hmm. long as the changed person is no longer that person, and he gives her the happiness she needs. Come on, mm -hmm. it's a goal. And this happened, I mean, when he was still a teenager, yeah, so you know. I, I don't think it even counts. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm also looking forward to the uh, big wedding, because mm -hmm. you know she said she wants to do something small, small now, yeah. to meet up um, the 90 Days um, Ultimatum. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, once she's done with her album, which I'm thinking is supposed to be the last album before she finally retired. Yeah. Event, mm. um, then there will be a huge wedding, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the album. I just wish her all the best because I know she's she's worked hard. She's mm. she's been in the news for so many things regarding her personal life also, mm. and I hope this works out really well for her. Yeah, um, I, of course, I, I really like Nicki Minaj mm. and I really vibe to her song, so yes, I can't I wait too. for her album to come out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I can't wait for the big wedding. I can't wait to see her in that beautiful white dress, mm -hmm. you know. I know she looks so great. She of looks course great. She will. Mm. All right, moving on to the next story. Naramali to resume trial for his alleged cyber um, fraud today. Recall that in May 2019, Justice Nicholas Oweibo adjoined the singer's internet fraud case to October 22, 23, and 24 for accelerated hearing. He was granted a two million naira bail with shorties in like shop, like song. So um, I was going to ask if uh, <laughs> what it means to have an accelerated. Here yeah, because mm -hmm. I know he'll be able to explain that. But unfortunately, he's not here. Um, however, I'm looking forward to how this um, um, court cases will play out today because mm. Naramal is supposed to be in O2 London, right? December. Mm. And um, I think we mentioned it when that news. Broke. I don't think Naramal is even back um, into Nigeria first. Uh, it's possible that he's back. I, I don't know. Because I, 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 I think as of yesterday, mm -hmm. it was still out of the country. Well, maybe he's back this morning. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. I went to um, his page. If he had posted anything, nope, he has not. But I don't think he's in the country right now. But I really think if he's innocent, you know, just come home and sort it out he and if you're is in the country i mean it's just a flight of how many hours and he's mm, here so. that's i'm not sure mm. maybe but last i checked was not around but mm. let him come and clear his name if he's innocent yeah. and if he's guilty i mean if you've done the crime you do the time that's what mm. they say so i also wish that he's around because um if he's around then he won't give them a reason to escalate mm. whatever the case is i don't know what accelerated <laughs> here <laughs> means but uh, we i don't think want it means an escalated uh, from case. the name i'm just thinking it means that they will just have it um they'll give his judgment like just after Professor three days or mm. something. anyways i i hope that he's able to work this one out mm. and um I mean, I, I think, I, I, think I, I, I think, know. I think it will come out because of, of the, guilty. the every, guilty, right? Um, innocent. I mean, why? Because I don't the, except the EFCC and um, the documents we saw making the rounds on social media at the time uh, was not um, or could not be linked. To no, him because uh, no, because <laughs> of course they talked about. Um, have it, he, he was in possession of some credit cards, credit cards that were not his name and mm. all that. So. I don't know. I would love to see I mean, I don't think... Out. I'm just wondering that. <laughs> he can't be guilty and he's really acting on this drama. I mean, what's he trying to say? Do you he get... Trying to say anything. He's living his life. Like, he's living his best life. Oh, he wow. He's a hip-hop artist now, right? Mm. I mean, what's his name? They go to jail and they come out tomorrow. And right, they an album. right, right, right. And he will still sell. I mean, it's just, he went for many days and came back. And, right? Mm. And 
if he goes away is a big if, it's it's going to even create more fan base when it comes to Mali and mm. because you get to see people want to look out for when he comes out, right. have like a big celebration. I'm not hoping he's guilty, but mm. if he's done the crime, then he has That's to do the, the time, time, right? Mm. Or maybe in this case, he probably paid the fine. I <laughs> don't know. But uh, we time for a quick break. And when we return, we'll be frankly in this in the news. We'll be right back. <music> Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Alibaba? Ali Baba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time. I'm moving on to the next story of our conversation. Nigerian comedian Omini has called out Ubi Franklin for jacking, slapping, and assaulting him backstage. Omini said he had um, he made a joke about Ubi Franklin at an event, but Ubi was not happy about it, allegedly prompting the assault on his person, stating that the job of a comedian is to find humor in every situation. Apparently, this happened at a cappella show. He, however, noted that he had nothing personal against Ubi before, but now he has everything personal against him and that any time he sees Ubi face to face they would be going in hmm. so I don't know what <laughs> going in means <laughs> well, maybe you want to help me and I had to face each other man to man you know uh. and his story was like after Ubi landed the earth slap mm -hmm. yeah and mm. then he wanted to retaliate the bouncer, the bouncer him him said he thinks that um, they were bribed they were bribed mm -hmm. yeah but First, I want to let me start with um, Ubi. Because <laughs> right now I have a problem with the both of them. Mm -hmm. Let me start with Ubi. Um, Ubi should have just reacted in a better way. That's if this happened, right? I yeah. still allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Okay. If this allegedly happened, mm -hmm. I feel Ubi um, overreacted, you mm -hmm. know. Even if that guy has said something that, you know, this thing they say that um, there is um, the truth always ought, yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe that guy said a joke, but it was the truth. Mm -hmm. and Ubi felt bad about it. Mm -hmm. Even if he felt that bad, I don't think he should come backstage and react like that. It's so wrong. You can always call him and talk to him. You get be matured about it. Or even if it's like you come after the show, you tweet about it and let your world know that oh, this, this is what this person said that you don't like. There was this time um, a comedian was on this show now to the comedian and said that there are some jokes here yeah, that some comedians don't, are not credible to tell, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to personality, when politics, comedy, or when it comes to social celebrities, issues, basically. And, you yeah. know, if you, don't, you know that you don't have that credibility, you probably love train of, um, lost train of thought and mm -hmm. you don't have any joke to give to the people again. Mm -hmm. You just look around and look for somebody that can take your joke. So you think Umini, Umini did not have the credibility to crack a joke about Ubi Franklin, which I'm guessing, is, which I'm guessing is definitely about him having plenty <laughs> of children. Because I, I saw um, some of his, some part of his messages mm. um, was saying something about people have been uh, making jokes out of Two Face for a very long time, and he has not done this and blah blah and blah. I so mean, I'm people, guessing... people people react to things differently. Mm -hmm. Ubi is not Two Face. So let's be honest here. Yeah, mm. the way um, the, what someone will say to you that will really. But hurt this you, is not, not about someone... how you react to things. And there's something called assault, and um, which is no. Of course, not. that's so why I said if, Ubi overreacted. If, if Omini, I don't know what the the, the laws would um, entail in this mm. case, but I'm sure there is a law against assault, and you know, if he decides to take it up, then. It it's, it's it's something wrong, right? So he shouldn't, regardless of what you think he did. Oh, no, I'm not saying mm -hmm. Ubi is right for... That's why I said I think Ubi overreacted. I mean, there are other ways to do things. Mm. The fact that Two-Face is not beating everybody up does not mean it's not... Those things are not hurting him. Mm. I'm just saying. The things it's are not, not even I mean, just about Two-Face. 
and Ubi. Even women in general, if we want to be petty, then we probably need to start um, picking up all comedians and beating them up when we see them. Because most of their jokes are centered around how women did this, women I mean, did women, that. women, they are not being yeah. direct. You don't, they are not being direct. See, to be honest, it's not everybody that can take a joke. Mm. And you should know when somebody can take a joke and when somebody cannot. I mean, people have different personalities. So if you can't take a joke, what should we expect from you? If you can't take a joke, mm -hmm. you can't take a joke. I mean, it's not compulsory that you have to take a joke. No, I, I mean, especially when you have to do with your personal I'm life. I'm concerned about us um, moving the attention from the fact that he, if he did this, he was very wrong and aggressive, and moving it to whether a person can take a joke or not. No, I'm not. You're the one. one I'm, that's why I started. I said I have a problem with the both of them. Mm -hmm. Ubi did something that is very wrong. Mm. I mean, it can be sued to court for the, if this guy, but this guy wants to go street way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, let me see you and give you back. Mm -hmm. But it can take him to court. Mm -hmm. Ubi is very wrong. That mm -hmm. was the first thing I said. He okay. overreacted. I'm not taking it away from, I mean, I'm not trying to justify, I, I'm not an Ubi fan. But <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to justify mm -hmm. Ubi at all. What he did is very wrong. But I'm just saying on the comedian side too, you know, there are other people there. You can you always use any other person, especially when you know that you don't have this clothes. When Tokyo Mackin one was he AY's own was on. I mean, they were friends. They mm. probably even had it backstage that don't worry, it's okay. I will talk about your surgery. And like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So my next question is going to be that if this joke, I wish I can hear what this joke is mm. about. Though I think they should put it out I somehow. Mean. <laughs> if this joke was about was done by a bovi, would Ubi have the guts? That's why I said credibility in, and using the words no. of the comment. A comedian, the the comedian said, mm. said it in context, which he was talking about social issues, not making a joke out of whatever said, you want to make a joke it, out of. There was of. something he said that they said, you look at the crowd, like, I think he was talking about when you don't have a joke or maybe when you're trying to tell a joke and mm -hmm. people are not laughing. Ooh, you look at the crowd thing. and mm -hmm. then you see, you pick somebody that can take a joke. He said it that we can roll back the clip. Okay, um, well, I hope they settle their issue, whether it's by going in or going to court, <laughs> whatever it is. I wish them the best of luck. And I'll try to see if I can get Umini on the show to come and tell his side of the story. Mm. But um, until that happens, we're moving on to another story. Hip-hop producer Jamal Rashid, popularly known as Mali Mall, pleads guilty to unlawful prostitution business guised as escort business. The guilty plea was accepted and a sentencing hearing has been scheduled for January 21, 2020. According to information contained in the plea agreement between April 2002 and September 2014, Rashid owned, operated, and managed several businesses in Clark County that purported to offer legal escort services. Rashid admitted that he carried on an unlawful prostitution business through these escort businesses. Furthermore, Rashid induced and enticed numerous women to engage in prostitution. Mm. You know one thing about Go the story? I like, when, I like when people are straight up come out to say, I'm guilty, don't stress us, don't mm. drag or you cannot drag. Like when you know that you've been caught, it's not the case of I didn't caught. You didn't caught <laughs> you didn't when you know you've been caught, just <laughs> admit, if there's a plea deal, take it. Mm. If there's an agreement, take it. If you have to do the time, do it and don't stress us. And that is what I love um, in this story, story and what he's doing. Because, um, I mean, we don't need to start flogging the fact that what he did was wrong mm. and he shouldn't have. And they say it's illegal prostitution. I guess there's legal one and blah, blah, blah. But mm, it's yeah. not, um, prostitution is not entirely illegal mm. in their side. Mm. Like that particular like, state, yeah. state right now. Mm. Okay. So. so. <laughs> I mean, like you rightly said, thank God he didn't drag the <laughs> case. What we would have been saying now is, we'll see how it turns out, mm -hmm. we'll see how it turns out, but mm -hmm. now we know what it is already. Mm -hmm. And if he's pleading guilty, that means he has done it and go to jail, bro. Yeah, so we'll just look out for January to hear what his sentencing, sentencing is going mm -hmm. to be. And um, I hope he learns from this too. And I, I, in cases like this, sometimes I feel like um, he's not the only one who is involved. Mm. And we need to know about every other, other person, person that have worked mm. with him because um, this is like a, a business that was working in chains, right? They were um, um, chain food chain. Uh, how, let me call yeah. it a food chain. So someone is at the top and then someone is at the bottom and all that. So I hope everyone is brought to, brought to book, basically. Mm. But it's time for a quick break, and when we come back, we have just one story for you. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories, and of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still...
end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Baba? Now? Oh, <laughs> are you? I trust the Africa. Africa. We're feeling good. No time to dull. Everybody feeling alright. Still make music and people are still buying. Sometimes I they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. Snoop Dogg gets 48 joint weed bouquet for 48th birthday. He's said to have been pleasantly surprised with the presents that put his favorite plant front and center. So, uh, happy birthday to him first once again. <laughs> I like when people around you know what you like, mm. right? And they just um, create memories for you around that. I mean, you might want to feel like, oh, it's weed, oh, it's this, but... Um, over there, they are not really concerned about it as mm. long as it's controlled, as long as you're not abusing it, as long so most of them are into the business now, and I think he's one of those cashing out on this plant. So, mm. congratulations to him, happy birthday to him. And Snoop, sometimes it's just unbelievable to know that he's 48. Not like he's not like I sometimes he looks older or it's younger. Not, it's not even about how he looks, it's about the things you hear he has achieved mm. and the fact that oh, he's a grandfather, he's this, mm -hmm. and you'll be expecting to hear that he's having two or something. <laughs> but for 40 years, you'll be like, okay, he's an OG. Yeah. I mean, an old I think he's, he, he, he's had his eyes on the goal for a very long time. Like, he, he didn't just wake up and start um, finding his feet. He, of course, everyone has to find their feet at some point, mm. but he knew what he wanted for himself and what he wanted out of life at an early stage. So, I think, I think I, I, I mean, of course, I respect him, but I think um, he just um, blows my mind anytime. You he don't comes even up. have a choice but to love him because he's one person that is straightforward mm -hmm. and he's just living his best life. Mm -hmm. He's not in your business, he's just doing his own thing and he's happy about it. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's good to have people that know what you want for your birthday. I mean, they know, I, I can imagine the excitement on his face mm -hmm. when they brought that gift to him because we all know how he feels about weed, you mm -hmm. know. So <clears throat> the happy is. Uh, happy birthday for him because mm -hmm. he got what he loves the most in yeah. the world. Happy belated birthday. Is that what he loves most in the world? Ha, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently. No, you know, That's like life, you, you know. No, you know sometimes when um, people have grown to a certain point and then they have everything that money can buy to a certain extent, mm -hmm. it, these are the things that would really appeal to them you have to now find those little things that are actually big because i like to say that the little things are the things that make the heart go funder mm. right so you now have to put in extra effort to find it's easier i mean someone was saying this to me um, some time ago and person said it's easier to date a poor girl sometimes <laughs> or to date a poor guy actually where you have to give them gifts because yeah. you know that oh he doesn't have this today you next you buy it but right? that everything that has everything. like it is the little things and those little things is also in the effort you put into it and how you display them the and thought you know of it. the thought of it the mm. process everything counts and it actually becomes a bit more stressful because you have the money but you're wondering what can I do? But I don't think it was stressful for them mind. to decide what to do. It's <laughs> like this. I've been, I follow him on Instagram, so I don't think, know. It's like saying, um, giving Wiz Khalifa weed for his birthday. I mean, it's not a stressful thought. Just okay. give it and he will love you forever, you know? Okay. <laughs> All right, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my co anchor, Ewa Ritu. Thank you for being here. And the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.